This is a shitty movie about a dumb thing. What, did you think I just made that line up? Tiny Robots. Tiny Robots, aka Robozinos, is a 2008 movie brought to us by Video Brinquedo because robots were a thing. I guess. The plot revolves around Trank, a non industrialized robot model who just isn't like everybody else. Uh, yeah, and because of Wally, -E, there's this really forced environmental message, I guess, sort of thing. It doesn't really go anywhere, but it's there, because Wally! -E! So let's see if it really is a dumb thing in a shitty movie. Far, far in the distant future, Next there Sunday, a AD. devoid of the human race. The human race is replaced by a race of robots, machines, and automatons. Like the humans before them, these robotic hordes work and worry, hustle and bustle. And let me welcome you to Exposition Theater. Cardinal rule when it comes to movie making. It's all about showing and not telling. But unfortunately, Video Brinquedo didn't get the memo. And you're gonna get a lot of this. Alright, a shit ton of this. So much so that mm, there's gonna be a counter. <sighs> Society could not survive. For the robots, it was the most important resource in the world. For you see, everyone and everything was battery operated. There existed two enormous factories. One, a solar generating plant, which harnessed necessary solar fuel from the sun. And the other, the robo manufacturing plant. Can you guess which one makes the butt plugs? This sprawling capital is where our story takes place. Its name? New Iron City. Man, when did Pittsburgh become Cleveland? Meet Trank. You see, unlike his friends, Trank is not factory made. Our hero was created by a human. Wait, 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 wait. I thought the introduction said that humans were gone. Am I missing something? Trank works with his pals at the solar generating plant and is in charge of solar cell upkeep and maintenance. Trank does not realize it yet, but something is about to happen that will change the life of his family and friends forever. I repeat, attention all workers. Stop all activities at once. The leader is about to make an important announcement. Good morning. Really? A blue Darth Vader? What was your backup villain, a pink Boba Fett? And to help you all celebrate your newfound freedom, we shall update your operating systems using our new government-sponsored method. Whoa, just like iTunes and their useless updates. Oh yeah, those are some really hot bits. I can't believe she's showing all of her diagram. Hubba hubba. That's not it. They're closing the solar plant. None of us are working there anymore. What about our city's energy supply? Don't tell me we're going back to oil and electricity. Uh, whose idea was this, anyhow? The leader, of course. Yeah, I trust Robo Trump. He hasn't steered us wrong yet. Our fearless leader is planning something no good. I never trusted that little blue robot. Yo, Gramps, language! Jesus Christ, you got a dirty fucking mouth! That two-bit robot factory's no place for a bright boy like you, son. Have you thought about being an oil mopper at the Robo Strip Club? I hear they make mad bank. <laughs> I'm relevant, YOLO swag. Trank, I told you before, you're special. You're custom built, not like all those industrial models. Oh yeah, I know. How could I possibly forget how special I am with all the other guys making fun of my special overdeveloped helix? Wait, why are we talking about robot penises now? I just made a joke. This is a movie for kids. You shouldn't be talking about that. Like, for instance, why I don't have a normal helix like everybody else I know. Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with your helix. The only reason it's overdeveloped is because it can do more, that's all. Believe the dream I just had. I dreamt I was stuck in a big, disgusting puddle of oil. And I was trapped with a guy named Rousdower. Huh? Ugh. Oh, come on. Wrestlers sell it better than that. <laughs> Hold on, that's 
the bad thing about these man-made models, you can't track them! Yeah, well, man-made or not, the leader wants this kid caught. So let's find this tin can, pronto! Wait, when did Trank become a fugitive? Like, where in the first few minutes of this movie was it established that he's a fugitive? Or wanted by the law? Or the leader? Or anything? Or by his dog? Nowhere was this established. And even if it was true, it's not like he wasn't working polishing a fucking solar panel plant down, cleaning it nice, and you think now's the time to do it? Cause reasons? And so began Trank's exciting adventure. He begins by escaping New Iron City by flying above the vast Amazon desert, the greatest desert Why in the new world. Thing? You know, Nev, sometimes I find it hard to believe just how many folks get rid of perfectly good junk these days. You know, I guess they just don't know a good thing when they see it. Meowth? Is that you? I didn't know that's what you did evolved into. Well, that's pretty freaking cool. No, no, I, I know it's a joke. It, that's what I wrote here. That that's a joke. And uh, don't worry about it. I do know the difference between Pokemon and Tamagotchi, so, you know, don't give me shit in the comments about that. Okay? I'm relevant. I'm hip. I get it. Our mistake, we somehow thought you were scrap metal. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some robo-banging to do. <laughs> Oh, hi, Grandpa. I guess we don't need to look for you now since you just turned up here at the scrap heap. Oh, wait. That's a character swap, because... Lazy. Damn. You stay here, Trank. We'll come back for you later. And then he died. <laughs> huh? oh, what the fuck? And so Trank and his new friend set off to find his builder, located somewhere inside the electric forest. Thing. That's a siphonoid, a giant monster that devours energy from other robots. But everyone knows they've been absolutely extinct for many years. <laughs> Okay? I think he's been siphoned. I knew this would be too dangerous. That's what I said. Laugh in the face of danger. Now that fat head can't laugh at anything. Damn, Meowth, you are stone cold. Your friend's circuits aren't even cold yet, and this is how you speak of the dead. Holy shit. Glad I'm not your friend. Look, he's alive. <laughs> he's gonna brain me. <laughs> now I have a better understanding of this relationship. So then the robots go through the forest looking for Trank's creator when they stumble upon the ghost of Neckbeard's past. I ran from soldiers. I crossed the desert. I almost got boiled in oil and I wrestled a monster. And I won't give up now. You are a very stubborn creature. And a stupid one at that. Aren't you a human? Well then, if I'd known that, I would have done away with those shenanigans. I oh, hi. I'll scare people in plain sight because I can do that because, you know, budget costs and whatnot. So he finds his builder and they go to his jolly home of references. Look, I know my humor involves a whole lot of references. Hell, even in my job teaching college, I use them all the time. But this room, this room of the creator, is just way too much. Look at this shot! R2-D2, C-3PO... An Imperial Walker, TIE Fighters, Starship Enterprise, Optimus Prime, the Hoverboard from Back to the Future 2, Iron Man Masks, PlayStation 3, Pokeballs? I get everything, maybe, in this screenshot, but why the hell Pokeballs? How many years have I been alive? If memory serves me correctly, that'd be about uh, 40 or so years. 40 years old? Holy crap! How old is this guy? There's not a single gray hair on him. Color me jealous. Struck him, we're much older. 
perhaps more than a thousand years or so. At that time, there were no robots and only humans populated the Earth. A planet without robots? Amazing! <laughs> that must have been wild! But those times are long gone now. Today, humans are hunted, and non-industrialized robots are no longer allowed to be built. Our stories are dead, and with them, the hopes for the future. I, I, need, I, need, I need clarification here. So, Trank is a non-industrialized robot. Because of this, he is hunted on a regular basis, of which prior we had no knowledge of. He was working and had a job at the solar plant, but nobody batted an eye. Nobody said, hey, get dude. We got him here. Second, what do robots consider eons? Because I remember even the narrator saying that humans have been gone for a long time. And here's this dude. Not only is he a dude who's still alive in a weird spark plug forest, but he was working in the robot plant when he made Trank. Then Grandpa was there too. And things not right work brain syllable comma splite. Uh -huh. uh -huh. If it weren't for my horse, I wouldn't have spent that year in college. That's the robot I believe you call Grandpa. Sure, that's him. That's him. Your Grandpa never got along with that man. He asked me to install a control block in his nerve center so that he could always strongly disagree with him. That's Grandpa, all right. I just wish more robots would disagree. That's true. I've noticed that every robot I talk... He then explains that Grandpa has what is essentially a grump chip so that he can be a curmudgeon. And I think I have one of those. And just to be honest with you, it is shoved squarely up my ass. So after the bullshit summit, the three robots head to the leader's hideout. You reminded me of my youth. Oh, I did? Yeah, like the time I tried to fuck a blunder when I was blitzed out of my mind. I don't know what to tell you. That was one hot blunder. And so our hero and his pals left the builder behind and traveled through the electric forest, bravely heading to the palace of the leader. Meanwhile, Gramps gets to confront the leader. What a great name. Union, old friend. Oh. Old friend? We both know you've never had any friends but money and power! Rule number one about movie making. Never, ever, under any circumstances, put a great movie in your shitty movie. The great movie has no reason to be associated with this piece of shit. I know Metropolis is a great film about robots. However, this is a shitty film about robots, and it is a definitely dumb thing. Please. Do not give it this disgrace. I know it's public domain and people can do whatever the fuck they want to do with it. But please, take it out of the film. That's why, that's why the leader is so evil and devious. He's shit all over a great movie. And so, as their trek through the electric forest came to an end, Trank, Tron, and Nev found themselves looking upon the fortress of the leader. When they arrive at the fortress, the Big Red One returns, so, you know, it can pad out the movie some more. I guess. No other reason for it. Eventually, Trank defeats the oversized Hoover, but not before he gets Sarlacc'd. Yeah, I made a Star Wars reference. What of it? Meanwhile, Grandpa and the leader are getting kinky. I love metal on metal action. Forgive me, O glorious leader! I exist only to serve. I will do as you ask. I'm sure you will agree our new reprogramming system is working smashingly. The microchip method is a perfect way to transmit our control waves. There now, that should do it. Soon we shall have control of all of New Iron City and its foolhardy citizens. Why does the leader need to have this brainwashing equipment? I mean, he's the blue leader. Which is a great name. I mean, when I think of evil Darth Vader looking motherfuckers with head boners, I'm thinking Blue Leader. But why does he need to worry about brainwashing robots when he just has enforcers to, you know, take care of shit? 
Somehow, Trank can breathe under bullshit and ends up in the leader's lair. Cause, you know, that's what happens when you get sucked into an oil well. It would be of great value to me, Doctor, if you could share your knowledge about international mind control. I am looking to transmit our messages using the latest technology so that they may be shared with the rest of the world. Wait. When was it ever established that Grandpa was a doctor? Did I... I apparently slept through this film because I don't recall any part of this movie saying he was a doctor. Because I'm a doctor. I have my PhD. It's the truth. And even I'm confused at this shit. So Trank installs the virus and it disrupts the leader so much he sinks through the floor. Because this is a shitty computer animated movie, I would expect this to happen a little bit more often. But this is the first one I caught. So the leader is hauled off and everything is back to normal. It's time we gotta move on. It's a whole day's journey to New Iron City. It sure is when you can go as fast as frozen molasses. Can we wrap this up please? Iron City will be back to normal, Nev One. Me too, Grandpa. Me too. It'll take a lot of work after all the stuff the leader's done to it. There's a lot of stuff needs fixing. Let's start with my wing here. That siphonoid managed to do a bang-up job on it, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> When I get back, I want to stop at that alkaline diner. I could really use a recharge. Did you really need to keep that line in? I mean, it's the end of the movie. You're not advancing anything further. It clearly didn't need to be in there. Or was that just an excuse for you to actually get over the 44 minute mark? I'm assuming. I guess. Wait, 12 people made this? Really? Gee, and here I thought it was only three. Shows you how much I know. Some doctor I turned out to be. Overall, in the grand scheme of things, Tiny Robots is... eh, of a movie. And there's nothing worse than being an eh of a movie. There's, there's movies where there can be great, and then there's movies that can be so bad that they're good. But this doesn't fall underneath that. This is more of a... It, it just exists. And I think that's the worst verdict that you can give a film. I mean, there are highlights. In Video Bring Quato terms, this is actually one of their better animated films, which is really, really sad. Because uh, I've sat through the Little Cars and the Princess series, and that's some of the worst shit I've ever seen outside of Phoenix Games animation. But... I mean, it tried, I guess. It did something, but I think IMDb is right. It is a shitty movie about a dumb thing. I'm sorry. I need to take a nap. The joke is alive! 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 The